Welcome everyone, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I make this DIY coat rack with a shelf. It mounts onto the wall, and it's very simple and easy to make. It takes about one day, start to finish, and it goes with almost any home decor you can find in a house. So stay tuned. As with any project, we gotta start with the wood. I use a one x 10, and I also use a one x four for the shelf. The one x 10 is actually three quarter by nine and a quarter, and the one by four is actually three quarter by three and a half inches. And these are the hooks I'm gonna use. So let's start with the cuts. Set your fence to whatever length you're gonna want. Typically I do these in about four and a half inch increments. And the current one I'm making for a customer is actually 24 inches. It's gonna be a five hook design. Simultaneously, I'm also making a 17 inch version, which is a custom size. So you're gonna see me actually make two of these during the video. All right, I don't want to bore you with the cuts, so we're going to speed this up. I like to use keyhole slots so that these can mount flush to the wall and you don't see any fasteners. So I made up this jig and I can get quick and easy repeatable results. Now, obviously, if you don't have access to a router or a keyhole slot bit, you're going to have to use more traditional methods for mounting this to the wall. So if you've decided to make the keyhole slots, after you've done that, let's go ahead and pre-drill the holes for the hooks. If you haven't noticed, I like jigs, and I have made up this jig. This one helps me get evenly spaced holes for the hooks across every single piece I make. So with whatever hooks you're planning to use, go ahead and evenly space them. Use a pencil to mark out where you want to pre-drill, and then go back over with your drill and drill all the holes. After you've got your hooks established, go ahead and bust out your sander. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I always start at 120 and go all the way up to 220 without skipping any grits. I also edge break all the corners and edges. Now, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, why not? I'll provide a link in case you do wanna watch them. You can always go into the description and follow those links too. And as always, if you hit the thumbs up or subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate that too. Speaking of prior videos, you've probably also seen me use this pre-stain before. I use this on all softwoods. This is to help out during the staining process to make sure that there's no blotchiness or unevenness when it comes time to apply the stain. The stuff is really easy to apply. Just get a nice lint-free rag or cloth and just wipe it on, let it sit a little bit, and then wipe off any excess. It's usually dry and good to stain in about two to three hours. Next step, just apply whatever stain you want to apply. Here the customer wanted dark walnut, which I love personally. It's a nice rich warm brown and that's what you see here. As you can tell, I also do stain the back. I don't go crazy with it, but I just want to get some nice color. That way it's uniform for the customer. After the stain dries, it's now time to attach the shelf. So as you can tell, it's really starting to come together and we're entering the home stretch here. Go ahead and lay out the shelf as best you see fit for your application. I like to space it two inches from the top edge, nice and even all the way across. I apply two clamps, that way it doesn't move when I flip it over, and then I pre-drill holes, countersink those holes, and drive in a couple of screws. So 
So the final couple of steps, just apply a couple of coats of poly, wait a few hours in between each coat, and I use the stuff out of a spray can. It's quick and easy and gets the job done. Once this is fully dry, I attach the hooks and then it's ready to hang on the wall for use. So that's the video. Thanks for tuning in and watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up and a like if you liked it. Comment in the section below if you didn't. Also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. That way I can keep making more of this content for you. Thanks again for watching and take care.